Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to tab solar cells together using conductive wire glue. The way that you glue these together is you just put one right on top of the other. You can see there is a mild junction. What you do is the entire backs of the solar panels, that whole gray part of solar cells is actually conductive. It is not just the white junctions. Those junctions there are just simply to give you something good to solder to. The whole front on these, any of the white lines are conductive as well. So in order to build your voltage or stack your voltage, you need to go back front, back front, back front, just like you do batteries. So what you do is you're gonna overlap one on top of the other. This one would be on top of the next one and you cover a little bit of the cell. You do lose a little bit of that there. Once your junctions are set up, this is a little tip that you can do. You flip them over before you move on to your next set because the two seem to go together really good. The four, when you start to go to four, that's usually where stuff can get a little freaky. So what we're going to do is put a little piece of tape there to give it a little extra hold. You're definitely sealed and good to go, but the tape will just give it a little bit of extra toughness. And this is never going to see sunlight, so you don't have to really worry about this tape having uh, any UV damage or anything like that. So we've got our two cells like this. We know that this one should be under the next one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just show you this real close up quick. So I'm setting this one here, lining this one up. We know that we're one on top of the other. This will give us our four, and then I'm going to take myself a piece of tape, about the width of the panel, cell I mean, and I am going to tape it into place, and then I am going to take this just like it is, flip it over, and I am going to set this, see how that tape gives it a little bit of this, uh, what it does is it gives it a little bit of a curve to it. So when you put a weight on there, it actually causes it to flatten completely closed. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this now, because solar cells get really hot in the sun. And if you watch this, look over here. Nice hot band. And then I'm going to add, because the van rooftop is metal, a very, very, you, by the way, you don't want to do this on a brand new car, because um, you might get that shit up, stuff on there, but I'm using a very weak rare earth magnet, very weak, too strong, it's going to shatter them. That little magnet's going to hold them in place. So here's our set of four that's been cooking on the van, they're nice and toasty for about 30 minutes. Here is an afterthought trick that um, I came up with. These are little tiny square rear earth magnets. They're pretty strong actually. So you wanna make sure that when you use these that you don't um, destroy your cells with them. What I usually like to do is take a piece of tape like this and wrap the magnet. These are like, I don't know, 50 cents or a quarter a piece or something. They're not the super duper, I mean, they're strong. They got a nice pull to them. This gives you a little handle to hold on to. So now what we're gonna do, I am on a steel surface. So I'm just gonna assume what my arrangement would be. This is the type of cells that this works excellent for because if you try to tab wire these together, you're gonna be taking up a huge space and it's gonna be really ugly anyways. You're just gonna say, look, I made this myself and people will be like, I could tell. So this will give you a little bit more of a professional look to it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm going to put some on this surface and this is how the magnet trick works. So I'm just going down this gray surface right here and I'm going to put just a touch on this over here. When you use the magnets, you don't, it gives you an actual better, but you got to be careful. You can do this with the full cells too, but just make sure you know what you're uh, pull is with that because if you do it too much you can smash these cells together and they'll then you'll have 
more pieces and pieces. So what I'm gonna do is take my little magnetic handbag, beep, and that's gonna hold them into place. If I need another one, all I have to do is take another piece of tape, take the tape, fold it over, make sure that these magnets don't stick together to each other, and now those magnets are holding that in place. Same thing that's happening on the roof of the minivan. Now we're going to do the dreaded voltage test to make sure that everything was junctioned correctly. Four point one for eight cells. That's exactly what we're looking for. We have information about this glue on our website. Also, when you put these together, you want to make sure that you do them in lots of two. You want to put two cells together, another two cells together, another two cells together. Let them dry. Then you take those two cells and make four and so on. You want to do that so you're only dealing with one junction at a time. You don't want to have multiple cells all in a line because it can get wet and very messy quickly. Also, this stuff dries fast. So you have just about enough time to set up one, let it set for 20 minutes, and then you can put them together. Also, you want to make sure that your cells overlap in order. You don't want to have one cell be the bottom of both. Totally mess things up. So you want to go one on top of the other on top of the other, just like you would stack batteries and line this build your voltage. In a future video, I am going to be showing you how to finish the wiring on this and also how to seal a panel with an air gap with regular glass and some silicone. Doesn't require any of the fancy expensive resins. There's a little trick you can do that keeps the condensation out. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. So here is a configuration right now with 15 cells. This produces right at seven and a half volts and it's probably eight or seven watts, eight watts, somewhere around there. One of the things that people who go over to parts of the world, developing nations or third world countries where they have no electricity, they want to take a whole bunch of cells over there have them together and uh, protect them somehow but they have no way of soldering when they get over there there's no electricity and a soldering iron can be anywhere from 80 90 100 watts so you have to have something to start with this people with no experience can basically put these together um, the next step in this process will be very easy to getting the wires out of it and hopefully this will show people how to take scraps. Any scrap solar cells could go to people who need them. They could do it themselves in a matter of a day, have a panel. They could have a little bit of electricity.